Welcome to my new project presentation called Command Output to Mathematical Statistics. So this is just a one-liner command to generate mathematical statistics for various kinds of files, especially test files from servers, databases, etc. You can generate statistics. So this is for all operating systems. You can, I will give you the links to, the, to my project site in the description box below. So once you open my project website, you will see the download button here. So you can just click on the download. It, this will uh, give you a zip file called statistics.zip, about 31.5 MB size. So once you download it, please extract it to the folder in the, in the same name called statistics. So you can see it, I have already extracted the zip file. So once you go inside this uh, statistics folder, you will find uh, the uh, readme files, readme1examples.txt, which gives you for all Linux, Unix, and Mac OS uh, operating systems. For Windows, you should go in inside, inside the for Windows folder and view its own readme file. And uh, um, let's now do a sample uh, statistics generation for some file, for some data file which I have copied here. My sheet.txt is a data file which is uh, which has number of fields, each field separated from the other field by, via a pipe character. So let's generate uh, the statistics for, uh, for one, at least my Mac operating system. I will do this right now. And for Windows, the only difference being in Mac, you will execute it in the terminal, open the terminal and execute that file, execute that uh, readme command. And uh, for Windows, you might open a command prompt and issue the same command there after editing it, of course. So let's do this. I will open the readme examples.txt. If you notice, the command is the same for all operating systems. If you notice, I'm generating a stats for the nth field. So what, what does it mean? Let's see. Or the command, you can just, for your understanding, I will explain now. But the things we need to change or or within the double quotes, we have to change it. So awk fnf stats.awk is the script I have written. Iphone capital F gives you the delimiter. Here pipe uh, is a delimiter character. Um, you might have spaces as well in between your fields. So which means you have to remove the pipe character and put a space instead. But for the time being, I, uh, I, my file is delimited. Each field is delimited by a pipe character. So I will choose that. And then hyphen V skip variables. Hyphen V stands for variables. Skip first line equal to true. If your first line is a header line, you should uh, skip the first line and make it as true. And then hyphen V in the next variable is my field number is nine. Nine is a, a mathematical column, which I want to sum up, sum up, average it, and also count it. Count and minimum, maximum, all I want to generate for that ninth field. And then my sheet.txt is a data file, which is a text file containing lots of data as I showed you just now. And then once you, after that comes greater than, or uh, redirect the output to, my sheet statistics dot text so this file will get generated upon you executing it and then you will view it through the cat command cat my sheet statistics dot text that's it let's copy this uh, entire line be huge line i will copy it open the terminal here so let's go to the finder and open it in an easy way statistics i'll right click that folder and then say choose services new terminal at folder i will do this so it goes into the directly into that folder it opens a terminal and that directly into that folder statistics i just paste the command and press enter key to execute it now let's view the statistics cat my sheet underscore statistics dot text i'm opening that file so if you look at it, minimum is zero, maximum 19,000, sum is 74,647, records 99, it processed, entries are 99, and average is 754.01. So this is the way it will generate the statistics for all operating systems. You can quickly give your database files, output files, server log files, 
etc etc and give it to this uh, one liner command to calculate the statistics so that's it so easy so once you are inside the statistics folder there is for for the main folder is for unix linux and mac os but for windows for windows folder exists you should go inside and go to choose the appropriate bit 64 bit let's say and go through this readme examples.txt so it will ask you to open a command prompt and execute this line after editing it that's it so simple i wish you all the best for all your job prospects that you might get out of this or even in your existing professions you can use it so i wish you all the best and thanks for watching have a nice day if you like this presentation do click the like button and uh, and also share this news good news with others as well so thanks for watching and have a nice day